My name is Marty Walsh, and I'm class of 1960. I was captain of the 1960 team, St. Peter's College team, and um, I played in the NIT in the 1958 team. I think the gift in life is if you get a chance to play basketball at the highest level. To me, it was uh, uh, it was really it was really exciting. You were there, and you, the fans, 18,000 fans in uh, in the garden cheering, and you're there, and and, you, and we didn't win, but I was on the court, and uh, or I played in Palestra, and the same thing. We didn't we won, but the idea is that you. As a competitor, you go and you play the game. You don't think about losing. Win, the key is how do, I, how do I win? And I'm going to give it my all. I'm not going to be intimidated. And that's the reason the intimidation works when your uh, number two seed is playing a 15 seed. All the pressure is on the number two. This guy's got a freedom. If he starts closing in and he goes above him, above the number two, and number two gets more and more anxious, and you probably go back in the game, and you'll notice that they begin to shoot earlier. They're not set up. Result is, they, the other team gets the rebound, they come down, they slow it down. The defense is now anxious, and they make mistakes. And the St. Peter's is moving the ball constantly, and guys are cutting. So they're well coached. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be, uh, for a guy like me, I'm here, and I'm going like this. Hope, hope. This is this. <laughs> if you have a sign of hope, you can win, you know? And uh, that's the thing that St. Peter's has, this sense of hope, and they believe in each other. And uh, so I, I think it's going to be a great fun game. It was like a surprise by God experience. You didn't expect it, and suddenly, boom, here they upset two teams, and they do it in a way that they're not losing it at all. They're, they're always ahead. And, the, and the, the wonderful thing about the team is the cohesion that they have. They play well together. They're like five fingers on one hand. If you have five fingers on hand, one hand, when you make it like this, you have a fist. Whereas another team has only one finger. And they, so when they're playing, they're playing defense with five fingers on one hand. On offense, the same thing. And they run the clock down. The pressure's all on the other team. It's like Rocky. And the interesting part about it, they're playing in Philly. So you're saying, not Rocky Balboa, but it's St. Peter's College, where St. Peter's University is playing, and the Peacocks are really Rocky. You're looking at the NCAAs, St. little St. Peter's College with 2,200 people, and they're playing a team that has, uh, you know, 15,000. And, and you're saying, how can they beat, you know, but then you go into scripture and you realize, uh, you know, the great Goliath. And a little guy comes with a, and hits him with a, you know, with a sled, with a, boom, boom. And that's what St. Peter's going to do, boom. Yeah. And again, and so people are going to be, and the great part is they're all cheering. They're our kids, because we're all underdogs. Mm -hmm. and, that, and, and we always root for the underdog, especially when they, they don't quit. And this team's not going to quit. When I'm looking and watching uh, the team, they really like each other. You just see this, and they work hard together. And so, you know, it, in fact, it reminds me so much of uh, our own country, because we're one nation, but we're many parts, and each part contributes, and each of us has a role to play. And the same way in basketball, you're playing, and the guy who plays good defense, and all these guys are good defensive players, but they're passing the ball, they're cutting, they're looking for the guy who's open, and whereas another team will have just the ball going to the best shooter, and they become stagnant. But St. Peter's has a lot of motion going. So I think what I'd say is um, celebrate it. Enjoy this moment in your life and celebrate being at St. Peter's and cheering for the underdog, because we're all underdogs. <laughs>